Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. We're at the Big Family Homestead, and something tells me we're gonna need a truckload of ibuprofen at the uh, end of this day. I think I might do a preemptive ibuprofen. Strike. A preemptive right strike. Now. Yeah. Alrighty. Guess what? Prep Stetter Bob is here. We've got a backhoe. He knows how to use it. I don't, and that's probably a very good thing because then we wouldn't break anything or, or hurt m anybody. <laughs> it's, oh, I, goodness. Spade's a spade, right? right. Call, call him as a season. Um, but there is a little bit of a problem. Uh, you see what he's doing right now is uh, that gravel and the dirt that we got, he's putting it around the edges of the barn uh, to make it nice and solid so that we can drive on it with uh, skid steers and s tractors and stuff. However, oh, here comes Pride. <laughs> That's Pride. He's going to help finish the chicken coop while we're That's doing funny. other stuff. That's funny. So, the but one of the issues that I, we got to get down there, but one of the issues is that that device, the skid steer, is broken. I was supposed to be able to get this stuff done beforehand. It's okay. It's all right. Lot to do. Here we go. Okay. So prep setter Bob, he's he's smoothing that stuff out and then we've got a massive trench to dig for water and electric. He's going to be doing that. So he's like the big backhoe, but mama and me and you and Caleb are the mini backhoes because we got to find the pipes where uh, he can't get close to it with the, with the, the backhoe, or he might break it or hit a hit a power line or something like that. So here we go. Yep. All right. That was close. He's got to get to the end. Yeah. This one was the easy one. The yeah. hard one, hope. The hard one is the six foot hole. Yeah. We got to dig down there. All right. It's like a giant metal dinosaur. Super cool. It's like boom. You know, you ever feel like sometimes you can really understand a movie character? Do you, you mama? Yeah. I feel like I really understand and, and understand and, and understand and understand the, uh, the Seven Dwarves right now. Particularly grumpy. <laughs> and I am so excited. Pride's over there finishing up the chicken coop. He's putting in one of the windows that we got from a good friend of ours and subscriber, Judy. And Terry, you know who thank you are. You. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, they're putting that window in. I cannot wait. Hopefully, tonight we can get the chicks out there. Yeah. They're they stinking are, up well, the garage. And they're getting too big for the, the stock tank that they're in. Dander. So, so today, <laughs> is a, today is a busy, busy day. It is a busy day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just learned a helpful safety tip from Prep Setter Bob. When you're digging for a power line, you don't chop, 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 especially not in the direction that is uh, crossing, rather, uh, where you where you believe the, the uh, power line to be, because you can chop it across and cut the dang cord. He said you go parallel with it, and then you just gently try to get up underneath it, and when it feels like a root, slow down, stop. Just clean it out gentle, because you don't want to get electrocuted, so helpful safety tip okay phase 536,000 I got my hold up <laughs> of this barn build this is gonna be drainage yes. for the uh, barn please explain what you have done here so skillfully with your big bucket well <laughs> we're smarter not harder right, right. Uh, basically the the, uh, the washout sink in the floor drains it's not for sewage or anything, but we're putting in uh, what's referred to as a dry well or a baffled system where we just lay these baffles down in the bottom, cover it back up with dirt. It creates about a 250 gallon void and it allows all the uh, liquids just to go ahead and drain right on down. Just for water and wash out stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So well, water. Well, so it. he says uh, building any kind of thing is like just dig a hole and bury it dig, dig a hole, hole and bury it dig a hole and bury it nice we dug a big hole now he gets to bury it at least he's in air conditioning though right the thing is air conditioned right that's yeah. give your back massages and 
comes with a concierge. It's got the shia shiatsu yes, thing it does. going on back there. Stand and be recognized. Pride has been working also. He's been rocking it. Look at this awesome window. This awesome window. Pride did it. Thank you, Pride. You're welcome. Okay, it's lunchtime, break time's over, but you had a thought that I think is really beautiful and yeah. powerful. Yeah, homesteading tip 547, uh, invest in an ibuprofen manufacturing company. Yeah, it's worthwhile, it'll pay off. Yes. Now this hole has been quite the pill. You guys can't see it, but we're over four and a half feet deep, and we're exactly where they marked the flag. And you gotta go slow with this because of the electricity. But man, oh man, Prep Center Bob actually went to go get a metal detector just to see if we can track down if the wire's right there uh, because this has been quite the pill. What's next, boss? Dig a hole, bury it, dig a hole. Dig a hole, bury it. So Pride has been working really hard to get this done for us so we can get our little chickens in here. Um, and we are nearly done. We've got our door. Look at that, close her up. Nice latch there. We gotta, we gotta finish the triangle up on the top, but that, that'll, that'll happen. Okay. And? And we have our gate here. Gate's done. Right, our... Oh, he latched it. He latched it. There's, and there's a, a chicken door there. There's a chicken door there. We've got our nesting boxes here. Well, the feeder. And the feeder. We just and the lovely. repurposed that. Yeah, and, and look at that window. Yep. Um, the roost. roost. So this is a dual purpose. It jump. They can jump up there to lay eggs or roost on it at night. Yep, and over here for a nice storage area. Yep. And these, we don't have the latches for yet, no, but they're going to open up for eggs. So, we Pride's collect, a rock star. Collect from this side, yep. Pride's a rock star, yes, Pride's a rock star, Pride's a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I need to come to the well of advice again. Uh-oh. Um, dig deep, brother. <laughs> the skid steer. I think I'm done with the skid steer. I think I'm, I'm not going to put more money into it because... I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things. I keep fixing it and keep fixing it and keep fixing it. And I just, it's just a feeling. You know that old saying, no matter how much you polish a turd, it's, it's never going to shine. <laughs> I used to say that in music. You can rub on it all day you know, long. Like it is still a turd. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's never going to yeah, shine. It just, it's not going to work. Okay. Then, and don't tell her, don't, don't tell Chris. Well, we actually oh. had this conversation. She's actually open to the idea of selling the 8M. What? Yeah. No. And it did not come from me. Really? It did not come from me. Okay. So, All right, so we're good. The concept <laughs> is the M, which is way over there. Yeah. Sell all three and get something new, or should I just try to keep fixing it? No, I for where you guys are at and what you've got going on here. Uh, by the way... You'll know here in the upcoming weeks or months, there's a lot of things going on here. That you guys don't know yet. That you don't know yet. But it's a huge blessing, and God's really provided. So Amen. my suggestion is, is why don't we upgrade and get one thing that's multiple use that we you and I don't have to work on every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. Okay. All right. Hey, Hope. Kind of this way. Hope. Oh, oh, come to your senses, woman. We have shovels. You don't have to do it by hand. Literally by hand. No, you don't have to. The shade. At least you're in the shade. Okay, we still can't get that stupid hole dug over there. So I thought this would be a good time to ask you your opinion on um, homesteading. Well, how would you encourage other people to get involved in homesteading? Buy a blank piece of land without electric run to it. And then you can make your holes. You can do whatever you want. Wherever you want. Wherever you want. You don't have to, you know. Find someone else's find, you know, issues. Yeah, we're looking for buried treasure over here. Well, the kind that can kill you if you right, do it wrong. Right, the kind that can kill you if you don't uh, find it. Properly. Find, yeah, exactly. So. 
homesteading for the win. Right. So now another one of the holes we gotta dig because we gotta tie into the water is obviously the well pump. And uh, Prep Sir Bob, who's over there helping us right now uh, with more holes and more digging, <laughs> uh, said just pull the cap off and that way you can see which direction the pipes are going. That way he can get kind of close with the backhoe. That way we don't have to dig six feet down the entire hole, but really kind of just right alongside of the pipe. That way we don't have to do the entire hole. So off she goes. All right. Hello. <laughs> oh. All right, I can see what you're saying. It comes off and goes that way yep. toward the house. So that's where we'll have to dig. And uh, well, you'll come near it with the backhoe. Right. And that way we don't have to do too much. Well, all we do is just shovel back into the trench and, and work smarter, not harder. Love it. Yeah. Reminds me of that Star Wars movie, the first one. And it come blow up the Death Star. It's looking good, man. That's the son of a ditch. <laughs> that is one big hole. Well, we don't want what happened to you the last time you had a homestead. We want the water to run year round. And uh, the way to do that is very assisted. That's right. It froze all the time, and that got real old carrying water from the house to the barn. And we don't want Mama to have to worry about that. No, I don't want to. I'm I doing this for you, sis. No, I know. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like holes. I don't, yeah. I don't. Look at that. Pretty deep. There's our water table. No, don't let him do it. Don't what? Let him do it. No, 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 no. I, I, I bet you anything I won't break it. I won't. I. <laughs> Look at it, it's huge. How could I break this thing? Let's not take that bet. Let's not, let's not, no. <laughs> Where's the vow of confidence? I'm, I am emotionally wounded now. I gotta tell you, it's social distancing, it's now become emotional distancing. <laughs> All right, reformulated plan. Uh, this hole right here was supposed to only be about 18 inches wide, 18 inches deep, and and it's become four and a half foot by six, and it's still not anywhere around. So, uh, Prep Sir Bob suggested, why don't we call the power company and have them remark where the uh, power is supposed to be, because either they did a bad job or, uh, we're not going deep enough, which that would be bizarre. Uh, or um, they'll just be able to pinpoint it a lot better. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna stop because it's really, really, it's like, it, it's in the 90s and um, this just seems ludicrous at this point. I mean, yeah. It was a hard day today. I hurt. Uh -huh. Where's Caleb? It's okay. He's Come coming on through. In. Come on in. Yeah, we um, we got a lot done. Uh -huh. uh, the chicken coop. Thank you to Pride, mm -hmm. and congratulations and on your anniversary. Mm -hmm. yes. Happy anniversary. Yes. Didn't we know it was his anniversary no. today. We can't forget to thank Roy and Shelley for helping us. Well, Roy designed it, and they both helped us start of course. it last weekend. Well, they, so. we're talking about the chicken coop, right? And it's it's ninety nine percent there. There's a few little things, and we'll show you like the chicken reveal yeah. some, coming up soon. Yeah. Um, but it's it's great. Oh, it's it's going to be really awesome, and we're very grateful. Mm -hmm. um, but while he was working on that, we were working with Prepstetter Bob on just we were main thing was water and electric to the to the barn, and we got a lot done, way more than we could ever do by hand. But. <clears throat> We kept hitting a snag. We couldn't find the electric. Yeah, yeah um, about killed me. I think we ended up at the end of it with about an eight foot, maybe, yeah, eight foot, eight foot by probably five foot deep hole mm -hmm. that was wide enough that I could get into. Mm -hmm. And um, about that about killed me. I... Homesteading. Yay. 
Uh, you it's know what? harder than you think. <laughs> Don't, if you think Mayberry, you're thinking wrong. If you're thinking Little House on the Prairie, you're a little closer. But they don't really show all the work side in Little House on the Prairie. Well, and in Little House on the Prairie, they didn't have, well, they didn't have to worry about digging for electric. And they didn't have backhoes to help dig the water line. They True. had to dig that. Was, well, no, no I'm they saying, wouldn't have had, they had to haul water. That was hard. No, I'm saying that it was an incredibly hard life, but yeah. they just didn't show it in the show. No. But um, I'll say this, all in all, still worth it. 10 times over, knowing where your food comes from, knowing that you have food, <laughs> knowing that your kids are gonna be protected from all this nonsense going around in the society, being away from all the chaos, being able to teach them that Psst, America is really a great country. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. Well, and your food doesn't come in a package. Yeah. Teaching you know, them that their food doesn't come in a package. It's amazing. Um, it's tough. It's hard. It's, but it's really, amazing. it's really hard work. It's not, it's not for the faint of heart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hard moving around tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it'll rain tomorrow, <laughs> so we can't do anything outside. Well, I think I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably work on the chicken run. Yeah, that shouldn't take too long. Yeah, if I can lift because my arms, boom for the right. post pounder. That's true. Oh my. But um, yeah. So this is. If you're wondering what it's like, it's a day-to-day, -day, whatever is on your menu, it's generally gonna kick your butt, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in a good way. Right. Yes. We didn't thank Prep Setter Bob again, did we? Thank you, Prep Setter Bob. Again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. For doing what you're doing. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that you guys don't see that happens off mm -hmm. camera. Yeah. Um, we help them out, they help us out. Yeah. Um, pride, I'm so glad that we're able to be a blessing to them. Mm -hmm. um, Roy and Shelly, we're friends, mm -hmm. you know, and- uh, It's our little community. And we're b working on building it, mm -hmm. so. Anyway, I'm gonna go and try to find ice and ibuprofen, so. Yes. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. It's crazy. It's red up. Yeah. Here we go. Watch up here.